Osito is excited to be out of his cage. He's just a lovable dog. The cockapoo has spent the last couple of weeks contained. Where his nose was cut. Recovering from an injury his owner, Victoria Lawhorn, says happened. He would cry all night. While being groomed at this Chester PetSmart July 30th. They called me and said my dog was rushed to the vet because he had got cut. And they said, well, he was moving entirely too much and accidentally cut his nose. Soon after that call, Victoria turned into the Banfield Pet Hospital. It's attached to the Colonial Heights PetSmart. It's where she thought Osito would be cared for. She says that's not what happened. I think that's why it keeps busting up open. The manager from the other PetSmart came out and says um, his nose wasn't this bad when we got here. Um, the vet inside kind of pulled his nose open more and they kind of charged an arm and a leg here. So we're going to just go to another vet and um, see what they say. The piece of his nose was kind of missing and opened up, so it was kind of like gross and nasty. Victoria says Osito was transported to Animal Medical Center in Midlothian, 30 minutes north of Banfield Pet Hospital in Colonial Heights, after already being taken 15 minutes south from PetSmart in Chester, where he was being groomed. My dog's hurt. You know, you should have took him to the first vet that you could have taken him to, no matter what the price is. You guys injured him, so you guys should be responsible to pay it and get him fixed as soon as possible, not wait four or five hours to figure out what vet you're going to take him to. And from 4.30 to about 10.30, 11 o'clock, my dog was in the vet because they decided to shop from vet to vet because one was more expensive than the other. That shouldn't have happened. CBS 6 has obtained vet records that show Osito was sedated and surgical glue was used to repair his lacerated nose. He was sent home with medication and restrictions. Victoria says PetSmart picked up this bill and offered her a gift card that she hasn't accepted. Because it's more than inconvenience. You know, my dog is in pain. My dog was suffering. He wasn't eating. And I don't think that just a $50 gift card could you know, be okay. You guys haven't even checked on them. You guys won't respond to any of, you know, my calls or anything regarding the incident. You know, you're hurting somebody's family. You know, the dog is pain and suffering, so at least care a little more than what they're doing. CBS 6 reached out to PetSmart. A spokesperson said, quote, Osito's nose was accidentally cut during a groom, and he was immediately taken to a local pet hospital by our associate, where he was transferred to an emergency veterinarian to receive prompt treatment. The welfare of Osito was our top priority, and treatment costs were not a factor in how we sought care for him. PetSmart has reached out to the pet parent multiple times to check on Osito and offer continued support. But to date, the pet parent has not returned any calls. We are sorry this accident occurred and we wish Osito a speedy recovery. We checked with the Better Business Bureau and it has not received any complaints on PetSmart in the Richmond Metro. There are no formal requirements for groomers in the Commonwealth. More on that and PetSmart's training requirements on WTVR.com. Working for you, Laura French, CBS 6 News.